Hey, got a two part quarter hunt for you today, which features a full crown die chip pair, a West Point quarter, some cameo proofs, a couple of silver half dollars, some consecutive $2 bills, all done cold calling banks this week. Welcome back to Coin Mojo, coin roll hunting in the Detroit area. Day one, I was able to secure a $500 Brinks wrapped quarter box. Uh, we'll be looking for West Point quarters. That's the primary reason for me for searching quarters. Uh, that and silver. But since I started looking for West Points, uh, I've expanded. Uh, in 2020, the West Points added a privy mark, which is another thing that I'm more excited about. So finding 2019s and 2020s with the West Point mint mark is, is a big deal because they're selling on eBay. For a premium. In addition, we'll be looking for the 2004 Wisconsin Extra Low Leaf Quarters. It features a high leaf and a low leaf. This is a recent sale on eBay for the high leaf, and that one brought in $7.99. Oh, I'm sorry, $79. This is the grease filled die uh, in God We Rust Kansas State Quarter, and uh, as you can see, uh, it kind of looks like the tea gets obliter obliterated by the grease and fills it in, and therefore it looks like the word rust instead of trust. In addition, the Delaware State Quarter Spitting Horse Mint Error. It's a die crack that makes it appear as though the horse is spinning. Also, the Alaska State Quarter is another one that we'll be looking for. Um, it is a small die crack between the claws and makes it appear as though they're small. An, an extra finger and then in 2021 significant errors to the Tuskegee Airmen and the Washington Crossing to Delaware hey if you like my videos give me four clicks and hit that like subscribe and the bell and then click up to all so that you get notifications when my videos are uploaded so this is a typical circulated roll of quarters as you can see the edges are you know all different states of where so I immediately pull all the shiny ones and set those aside and then I'll go through the the balance of them and weed them out immediately and then I'll do a deep dive on the shiny edges which to me represents something that's going to be in the AU 50 to uh, MS 63 range or better. This is the bulk of the quarters that I pulled from. <clears throat> My first box uh, day one I did pull a couple cameo proofs. I did pull a um, American Samoa West Point Quarter and some other uh, S-minted. So this is a shot of the front and back of that West Point Quarter. It's in pretty good shape. A couple of dings. Um, just wanted to show you a recent sale on eBay that uh, brought $16.98. I've seen these, you know, buy it now for $10 and then some as much as $25. Um, these are still selling out there and they're still available. I'm sure the bulk of the good ones are have been sucked up, but uh, you can still find them. Uh, these two Idaho and Oregon uh, cameo proofs look like they weren't in circulation very long. Um, this is a P-minted Arkansas quarter that has a silver edge. Well, it looked like silver, so when I opened the box, I thought, or, or roll, I thought I, I thought I struck silver, and a, a pretty decent one because the edges are very sharp. So, I'm seeing questions on these a lot in the Facebook uh, coin community pages, like coin roll hunting and stuff. These are brought up quite often, and I've found probably five or six of these myself throughout the year, and uh, I, I keep them too. They're really not worth anything. But they sure throw you for a loop, makes your heart pound a little bit when you crack that roll open, you see a silver edge. As you can see right next to a 2021, that, that is a very sharp edge. Here is a uh, 2013 White Mountain uh, uh, Copper Nickel S Proof. And uh, so this is the photo I posted on Coin Roll Hunting on Facebook. And, uh, you know, a lot of the people were you know praising me on finding this uh, beautiful cameo proof and when I found it, it was in the first row and I got excited myself but 10 rows in I pulled a single uh, 
Washington Crossing, the Delaware Crown die chip air, which is selling pretty good on eBay right now. So I literally posted that quarter on eBay that night after I finished my hunt. And um, I did post it as a circulated coin, and I pointed it out in my my listing. And uh, I figured I'd try, and I, I put it at a lower price than the market because, you know, there were some scratches in there, and I listed it that way. You know, I noted that there are some scratches on it and that it is a circulated coin and is being sold as is. The Crown Air coin was pulled from a machine rolled, although it was in a Brinks box, it contained all circulated coins. So this one has probably made the rounds once or twice. Um, I woke up the next morning after I listed this coin and I got a notification that someone had purchased the coin. So there you go. Um, the rest of these coins are the balance of the other coins. They're not really hold a lot of value. Just uh, I'm trying to accumulate the better copies of each of the uh, low mintage years, like in 2009, 10, and 11. And this uh, Duke Ellington also has a error on the E that has some value to it. I didn't find any of those. I'm also keeping better copies of the uh, 2019 and 2020 um, American Park series because I've figured since people are saving the West Point quarters and they're going to need a, a P&D to go along with it for their collection, so I believe those will probably go up in value a little bit, at least the ones in better condition. I pulled a few more uh, Washington Crossing to Delaware quarters. This one is a die clash. This is the small bird nest up in the back of the tricon <clears throat> here's another one in the back of the tricon that's uh, busting out a little more this one's at the front of the tricon and you can see a, a minor anomaly at the rear uh, in addition i'm pulling some of the 80s and 90s that are in better condition uh, because some of those actually demand um, a premium in Mint State 63. Um, again, trying to put to a book together, fill in a book with the uh, best conditions I can find. Here is uh, out of the red book. I'm showing you that uh, the 83P can, uh, you know, shows a value of $30 in Mint State 63, whereas everything around bookends are like only a dollar. Uh, also, 86D. Uh, shows that there has a value in MS63 of $6. So when I'm looking at these quarters, I'm kind of focusing on the uh, the talons of the eagle's claws, the arrows uh, around the chest. As you can see in this one, there's a lot of detail in the feathers. And so, you know, to me, I'm in a AU50 to MS63 range here, which is uh, one of the reasons why when I'm pulling coins or opening rolls, I, I look at the edges first. Day two, I managed to pull $430 mixed batch of quarters, some $2 bills, nickels, halves, and uh, I got a coin star scoop. So here's the overall picture of my day two pickups. Uh, the $2 bills, she had a whole strap of them. I took $20 worth. Uh, they were all in consecutive order. Um, this is the condition there, like brand new. This is a Steve Manchin, Secretary of Treasure, Series 2017. In my Coinstar scoop, I was able to pull just a couple um, Canadian quarter, a bent quarter, bent penny, a nice little medallion, a crushed penny, some screws and bolts that you always find. So those are coming out of really the waste can next to the machine. Uh, one of the banks I was able to pick up a couple customer rolls, quarters, and dimes. Another bank I picked up sixteen fifty worth of halves and managed to pull a sixty four and a forty percent sixty nine silver. All the silver I found this week. I got uh, fourteen rolls of brand new um, twenty twenty one Washington Crossing to Delaware. I wanted to show you what happens with these machine rolls though, when uh, the coins get shipped from from the uh, Philadelphia Mint to the distributors here in Detroit. They wrap them for them, and the coin rolling machine puts that ring of death on the coin, as is referred to. I also wanted to show you 
um, you know, the condition of these Philadelphia Minute Coin, they're, they're pretty frosty looking. They kind of look like a matted finish on them. This is the the bulk of the circulated rolls that I was able to score. I think I got 26 rolls there. Uh, out of those, I got a, a uh, spitting horse here that I showed you at the beginning of the video. That one's not as prominent as the ones that I had in my PowerPoint presentation. These are, uh, you know, better condition 2009s. I plan on accumulating roll, a roll of each of those uh, due to their low mintage. And um, this is a, a favorite of mine, the Fort McHenry coin a quarter featuring the American flag flying over a fort with the bombs bursting in there. It's kind of cool. Um, showing here the Denver minted Washington Crossing Delaware 2021 and next to a P. As I mentioned, the Denver minted quarters tend to look like they're chrome plated sometimes or proof kind of condition. And I can never find a Philadelphia mint that could match or stand up to that luster of a Denver mint. This is one of the brand new quarters that I pulled out of the 12 or 14 rolls that I got today. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, frosty. So here's a, another die clash uh, that I pulled out of uh, uh, the circulated rolls. And then I wanted to talk about the bicentennials, which seemed to be a topic of conversation with the newbies. Um, as you know, they minted uh, bicentennials two years, 75 and 76. And I noticed a curious thing that the quarters tend to have on the drum. You know, some of them are more defined and others almost looks like a bowl. And I was wondering if any of you have seen that or noticed that um, they made so many of these. So here's... Here's the one with more defined drum ring, and then this one, it's like it's uh, it's not worn because I see this all the time, and I think it's part of the thing. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, comment and share. I, you know, sometimes I rush through these videos and I stumble over my words, and I apologize for that in advance. But if you're enjoying my videos, I ask once again to please give me those four clicks. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Hit all so that you get notified uh, every time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching Coin Mojo. Coin Mojo out. Hope to see you next time. Come again. Bye.